time here. It's like 6.54, almost 7. I just took my next dose of my painkiller. So I assume they're feeling stiff because they got a little more swollen. But they don't actually look like swollen. Look at that post-surgery glow. Like I'm glowing. Hello guys, welcome to the vlog. Today's vlog is a very special vlog because I am getting a boob job. And I know some of you are sitting there very puzzled right now thinking like, mm hmm, why Blake? But you're non-binary. And yes, I identify as agender, but I'm still getting a boob job. Let me explain. So I don't experience dysphoria with my body, just how I'm perceived socially which I know will never change, unless I take testosterone, which is something I'm really not sure I'm willing to do yet. So right now I'm kind of taking what steps I can to love my body, and that's the best I can do. My biggest problem and main concern for getting this boob job is the shape of my breasts. And that's because I have a breast deformity, which constricts the tissue of my breast and makes my breast and nipple kind of misshapen. I really do like how my nipples look though. I'm not gonna lie, like they're not bad looking nipples, but the breast part does kind of get to me sometimes. Cause I feel like if I want them to look good, I have to do this certain pose or I have to get them hard first. And it's just so annoying. And my second reason, which is like the most important reason is I love boobs. I love boobs. I'm a huge boob lover. I love holding them. I love touching them. I love boobs, especially as like a comfort thing when I'm trying to find something like, yeah, I'm gonna hold them. It's like a built-in stress ball. So that's how I ended up here. Record scratch free frame, two days pre-operation. Yeah, I've already planned this shit all out. I'm getting it done. I actually went to my two pre-op consultations this month and I was like, am I really getting this? And then I scheduled it and I paid for everything. And I'm like, wow, I'm really getting this. So here's my little packet right here from my consultation. This is from my pre-op consultation before. I have, okay, let me tell you what I'm actually getting done. So I'm getting a mastopexy with implants and what that means is i'm getting a pair areolar lift around my areolas to make them look less deformed and i'm getting bilateral saline implants so a lot of people are tossed and turn up on saline versus silicone i don't really care the main reason i went with silicone is because if it breaks i want to know that it's broken and I don't really care about rippling because they're putting mine under the muscle. The muscle They're putting it like halfway under the muscle. So I don't really care about the rippling. The cost wasn't a big thing for me. I think the silicone ones are a thousand more. But I didn't really care. I just, for some reason, I want saline. That's just me. So they gave me this little packet of information on saline implants. And I read it. It's not like that informative. Like it is informative. But I was just like... Why do I need to know this? That was my whole thing. Then they gave me directions on how to get to the place. And then they gave me these pre-op and post-op instructions, which I'm trying to follow, but I've been having a really, really hard time quitting smoking. That's just me though. And then they gave me like a super big post-op packet or pre-op actually. I'm done but yeah that's just explaining what i'm having and then there's a table of contents so it tells me everything i need to know for surgery and i actually just got back from grocery shopping for surgery because i don't actually buy groceries a lot so i had to stock up i got a lot of soup and stuff i got a lot of probiotic drinks I got this because I saw all the girlies on here getting breast augmentations for getting them. It's an immunity shot with vitamin C and turmeric. Um, vitamin C is actually really good for this because I don't know, my surgeon just told me to take vitamin C. So I'm like, okay, vitamin C. Oh, I did not shot that. Oh my God, it's bad. 
I don't take shots. I drink fruity little mixed drinks. I got it all done. So I have my surgery bag all packed because again, it's about to be like surgery day. So they give you a prescription to fill before surgery. I filled my prescription. This is my bag. I got shit like promethazine. I got hydrocodone. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, should I sell this? But no. Um, I got nausea stuff. Whatever. Other than that, all I need the day of my surgery is my ID, which I've got my ID in there. So the only other thing I can think about talking to you guys about is my bra size. I'm starting out as a true 28 DD, and I also wear a 32 C or a 34 B. This one's 32 C, but I cannot wait. I'm gonna throw this bra. Bye. Gone. Never wearing it again. I won't need that ever. <laughs> That's the intro to this vlog. Um, tomorrow I might be showing you the stuff I got on Amazon. Like I got a stretcher. What's it called? What's it called? A tunnel. A I got a bioplast tunnel to have in here. And then I bought a bunch of bioplast jewelry off of Amazon. And that's going to be coming within the, tomorrow. It's going to be here tomorrow. Because the day after that, I'm getting surgery. Fuck it if it doesn't come tomorrow. And then I got that heavy cleanse, that antibacterial surgical, surgical cleaner for before surgery. And that's coming tomorrow too. And all I need to do is shower it the night before and the day of surgery using that. All right, I just got off work. It's the night before surgery. So I went ahead and I ordered a bunch of clear jewelry off of Amazon. And like low key, my piercings are super irritated from me like moving them. Like this one has been healed for a while. I didn't think this one was gonna get irritated, but it did and it started bleeding a little. And these ones too, cause they're pretty new and nostril piercings take a really long time to heal. So those are kind of irritated, but yeah, that's me with my clear jewelry and thankfully it still looks like I actually have piercings. I thought I was going to look very weird, but I think I look okay. But anyways, this is my bed. My sheets have been getting washed all day. So I saw a lot of people getting neck pillows when I was watching other people's vlogs. So I got this neck pillow just so I can be comfy and it snaps like this and then you can adjust it by Pushing the buttons. I just thought, I know I'm probably never going to use it again after this. Well, maybe I will. But I just thought it's better to be comfy than not comfy. I don't want to be cheap with my recovery because I actually want to have a swell recovery. Like a really nice smooth one. And then I heard for a lot of people that this just did not work for them the way they imagined it. But my mom, she went ahead and got me one of these just because... She wanted me to be comfortable. I'm really grateful that she did that. It's so fucking heavy. I'm gonna have to sleep sitting up for the first week or so. So my setup is going to be like this. And obviously, I need to find a way to prop myself up a little more. Maybe, I think what I'll do, I saw in this one girl's video what she did was this. And then shimmied up so that she could be sleeping like this. Honestly, this does not seem like that comfortable of a position to sleep. But I'm going to make it work. It's not too bad, but I just can't imagine sleeping like this. I'm here. Okay, so I just got out of surgery. Hello. It doesn't hurt too bad. I don't feel any pressure. And at first when I woke up, I was shaking really bad from the anesthesia. And my incisions burned a little. But now it's just kind of a little like pressure, like sore, like I worked out. But yeah, I'm doing good. I'm home. I went ahead and put my bonnet on, cause, but I got my neck pillow. I'm in my recline pillow. Here they are. They look kind of like big, but also I know they're swelling. And I've got this homemade ice pack my mom made sitting on them. I can only ice them for 20 minutes. But when I got there, they took me back. Um, they made me pee in a cup, obviously, for, like, a pregnancy test, I'm pretty sure. 
And then they put me put my IV in and had me get into a gown and put compression socks on. And yeah, so then I waited for a really long time and the doctor came and marked me up. And then after that, the anesthesiologist came in and explained that he was going to put me fully under. And he asked if I had any questions, but I really didn't. Because, like, I'm not scared of anesthesia. I'm like, if I could have anesthesia every day, I fucking would. <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, I'm not scared of anesthesia at all. I know a lot of people are, but it's really not scary. And I had a really good dream when they put me under. But... After the anesthesiologist came in and explained everything to me, about 15 to 20 minutes later, um, this lady, she came and got me and brought me to the OR. And I laid down. They had me lay down like Jesus with my arms out like I was on a cross. And, like, I had three different nurses just rubbing on my body being like, are you okay? They were just, like, rubbing my arms and legs and being like, you feel good? And then the anesthesi anesthesiologist was like, okay, I'm gonna give you a cocktail now. And then like five minutes later, he actually gave me the cocktail. Cause he didn't give it to me right away cause the EKG wires were lost and they had to find them, whatever. But yeah, um, my surgery, I think took an hour and a half. And when I woke up, I didn't feel any tightness or heaviness on my chest. I kind of just felt burning on my incisions from the lidocaine, which she told me would happen. And that was it. Like, it's not painful at all. I was kind of scared like I'd be in pain for the first hour, but it's not painful at all. And I'm able to walk around and stuff. Um, knock on wood because tomorrow might be worse. People say like the third day is the worst. So, right now, it is six. I don't take my next hydro until 7 p.m. But right now, I'm gonna take my antipsychotic. And then I'm also gonna take some Ducelex because the pain pills are gonna make me constipated. So I gotta be on top of that. I'm also gonna take, I take um iron every day and then I take vitamin D3 2000 three times a week it is Wednesday so I'm due to take it today I stopped by Starbucks after because I was like you know what I deserve it I'm really I'm not in pain at all like I thought it was gonna be like tight and heavy on my chest but it's really not I'm like chilling and I kind of want to go to sleep or take a nap, but also I don't want to miss the next pain pill because I don't want to be in pain. So there we go. There are all my meds taken. Honestly, I'm just like sitting in bed watching YouTube basically. Look at that post-surgery glow, like I'm glowing. They said they were gonna put a tube in my throat, which is what I thought would happen and that my throat might be really sore after. It's not sore at all, but it does like sound scratchy. I don't know why. Hopefully that goes away soon though. But I'll show you guys again. I, I dropped some of my drink on my bandages, but in my boobs, they're really swollen. Or at least I think they are. I can't really tell because I can't really feel anything. But I can kind of feel the implants when I move in certain positions. All right, it's currently 9.18. And okay, so while I was watching a bunch of other people's vlogs, their titties were like up to here. They were like in their goddamn collarbones. Mine are sitting that high, so I don't know. But whatever my doctor did, he was, okay. So I went to Dr. Vishnu Ramal. And the reason I chose him was because when I was looking at reviews for other doctors, their follow-up aftercare seemed like shit. Like, if someone had a problem, the doctor just didn't reach out to them, didn't want to do anything about it. But for all of the reviews on Mr. Dr. Vishnu Ramallah, he has a bunch of post-op appointments you go to. Like, I have a post-op appointment tomorrow to get my bandages off, actually. 
and he has a 24 hour hotline you can call just in case anything goes wrong so that's the whole reason i chose my surgeon he was a bit pricier but i think his work is just so perfect and like the, look at this like my cleavage is cleavaging like and it looks like he completely fixed the deformity like i'm so happy but my nipples are kind of high up i mean they're regular where nipples would be but whew, i can't wait to see the thing the thing thing in tomorrow at the appointment i'm pretty sure i get to see them and i still am in no pain at all which i was really scared that it was going to be painful but i'm i haven't suffered from any pain when i first got out of surgery there was a little uncomfortableness because the anesthesia gave me the shakes so i was like chattering and it made my implants kind of spasm which that that like i was over that within a few minutes like after three minutes all that went away but anyways i'm about to attempt to wash my face because like my shit's glowing i don't know if you can tell but my face I've been taking such good care. Oops. I don't know why I turned the fucking camera over, but I've been taking such good care of my face and you can see it's literally glowing. So right now I'm about to attempt to wash my face because I don't really feel any pain in my arms. I can like put them up here. I kind of put them above my head. I'm not supposed to. So I'm trying not to do it, but I do want to wash my face and put on my night cream because otherwise I have very dry skin. And I finally figured out how to fix it. Like I used to have patchy flaking off skin. And lately I've been using my um, salicylic acid cleanser from CeraVe for my fungal acne. And then after I wash my face, I put this hyaluronic acid on and I feel like that's why my skin looks so rejuvenated. And then at night, I put this L'Oreal H Perfect night moisturizer on which is really nice super moisturizing and in the morning i put on this sunscreen it's also a moisturizer so it's 11 now i just took my third hydro and honestly but i'm not even sure if i should be taking hydros because i'm not in a lot of pain at all but i don't want to stop taking them and then suddenly be in super really bad pain but I'm not that bloated, actually. I'm, like, pretty regularly bloated. This is what I look like after I eat, usually. But I just can't stop looking at myself. Like, I feel like it proportions myself out so nice. Capitalism really popped off with this one. Yeah, I also just took a muscle relaxer or whatever, diazepam, just in case I have spasms. I hear a lot of people get spasms even, like, a few weeks out. And mine is take as needed, but I'm still going to take them regularly just because I freak the fuck out when I have muscle spasms. But other than that, I've been trying to go to sleep and I can't really sleep. I well, When I was watching vlogs, everyone was saying that they slept through most of the first days. And I expected to do that because I'm a heavy, heavy sleeper. And I took a little nap around 8 p.m., probably for 20 minutes at most because I did feel a little tired so I took that nap and after that I woke up and I've just been really energized but kind of tired and I've been trying to go to bed but honestly I don't know if I'm going to be able to go to bed it's probably just um whenever something exciting happens to me I get a little manic and it's harder for me to sleep through the night and usually I have to just end up staying up so I might end up staying up unless I can go to sleep soon because my post-op appointment is tomorrow at 12 and I don't want to be tired at it but usually when I spend the whole night up I'm super awake I don't know I just feel so good when I skip sleeping sometimes and then I sleep the next day but yeah that's my update this is where I am right now I'm not feeling pain I haven't really been feeling pain so tomorrow or day three I might stop the painkillers but goddamn y'all they gave me 40 and honestly I'm trying to make some cash with it honestly because I don't need 40. <laughs> so it's 3 a.m. I just woke up to take a hydro. I woke up and my um I'm a little sore and stiffer but not like sore sore. I can't really notice it's a really 
I don't know how to describe it, but if you're scared of the pain for a breast augmentation and you have a high pain tolerance like me, I would recommend it. Like, go ahead and go for it because it's really not that painful. I'm just a little stiff right now because the implants are so new. I feel a little, like, bouncy. It's not like they're super hard, but they are harder than they're going to be once they fluff and drop. So I assume they're feeling stiff because they got a little more swollen, but they don't actually look like swollen at all. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go back to sleep, to be honest, because now I'm wide awake. Also, I put a few of my piercings back in, but I really don't wanna bother with these front nostrils because it's kind of hard finding the hole. Like it goes straight back and it's not as hard as you think it would to be replaced then but it's still like so much more of a hassle than I want to deal with right now. Also my Medusa too, since it's so far up, it's really hard to find the hole. And when I do find the hole, it's just really hard to push it through. I was gonna replace these, but I like how short they are compared to my bars that I had them before. They're super long. I mean, the bars I had before were super long, not these. These are like the perfect size. I just haven't downsized yet because i got the piercings not too long ago i think it's been two months so far i've been able to fall asleep twice sitting up and it's really not that bad but part of me just wants to lay down because i love just laying down and relaxing and another thing i've noticed is that if i move a certain way the implants squeak against my skin i'm pretty sure that's because there's a little fluid in the pocket and like it's a new pocket created. I was told this was normal, but yeah, sometimes I can hear them squeaking, but um, the doctor said that should go away. But I honestly, I don't mind it. It's just every now and then it's a little fart noise. <laughs> it's like 6.54, almost seven. I just took my next dose of my painkiller. And then I also took my diazepam. That's my muscle relaxer. And I feel like they're a bit swollen, I'm not sure. So I'm just gonna ice them. I can't ice them longer for 20 minutes. My mom made this <laughs> um, homemade ice pack for me. So yeah, I'm about to ice them now. So I have not pooped yet. I was supposed to be taking stool softeners starting two days before the surgery, but my surgery got moved back. So I was only able to take one the day before. So, so far, I think I've taken three laxatives. I'm pretty sure I'm just supposed to take one every day. And then I've been taking this Miralax because I still have not pooped. I'm on my second scoop. I drank one last night before bed. And now I'm drinking another one. Hopefully, I get my bowels running soon. I'm not like super completely bloated, which is nice. But I would like to poop because I usually poop two times a day. Like, I'm a regular pooper and all now, so. I'm probably not even supposed to be, like, messing with my bandages, but I'm already so happy with them. The shape is what I imagined. My nipple over here bled more than my nipple over here because they had to take my nipples completely off to put them in the middle of my breast instead of, like, downwards because they don't like mature breasts or whatever. Honestly, I love my nipples. I had no problems with them. And I'm really scared to see them because what if he fucked them up? But the shape is shaping. Like, it's giving. I got some honkers on me. All right, I just got out of my first post-op appointment. Um, I actually got a rash from icing myself yesterday. They told me to use crushed ice instead. And then they gave me this surgical bra. Um, I wish I could show you guys the real thing because it is looking so gorgeous. They did such an amazing job on me. So, at my first post-op appointment, they actually gave me a bra. And this was covered under the surgery cost. So, I don't have to, I didn't have to buy a bra, which I'm really thankful about. Because I'm like, I don't know what size I even am yet. So, they just gave me a regular old surgery bra. I think it's like a one size fits most. But yeah, I got to see them today and I'm super excited because they look super good. Let me show you my stitches.
I'm hoping it's not gonna look like terrible. I'm pretty sure it's gonna heal pretty well. I forgot to mention, but at my um, post-op appointment, my doctor said I'm allowed to shower finally tomorrow. So I can't wait to do that. So this is the surgical bra they gave me. It's not tight or anything. I really don't feel like that's supported in it, but I'm gonna wear it because that's what my doctor wants me to do. My nipple over here seems to be bleeding. This one's not bleeding at all, but this one definitely has a few blood patches from it bleeding. So at the appointment, they told me I need to keep gauze on my nipples and under my incisions, like on all my incisions, basically all the time until my next appointment, I'm pretty sure, which is on Tuesday, so in five days. But yeah, that was a really quick visit. I got to see my boobs. I am so happy with them. I'm actually going to insert a picture over here of them. I'm just gonna like censor out my nipples and hopefully this video still gets monetized, but they look so gorgeous. So it's 7.50 right now. I was supposed to take my hydro and diazepam 50 minutes ago, but I slept through my alarm somehow. But it's okay, because I'm not in any pain. Uh, today, I just took half a hydro, and later on, if I'm feeling pain, I'll take another half. But other than that, I'm pretty much weaning myself off of them right now. And I'm going to continue to take the diazepam, because I really don't want to experience any muscle spasms. But I'm feeling really comfortable right now. There's not much to update on. I think the next time I update you guys, I'll do it on my next appointment. The doctor actually cleared me to shower today, so I'm about to shower in a little bit. I'll let y'all know how that goes. He said I can use regular soap. I just shouldn't scrub on the incision lines or around them. I should just kind of let the soap fall onto them. And then once I'm done showering, I have to blow dry them on cool setting so that the incisions get dried from the inside. All right, I just got out of the shower and I was actually able to take a bowel movement while I was there. And now I'm just going to apply gauze to the places that actually, I don't even know if I have enough gauze. I'm gonna have to cut the gauze in half because I need to apply them to my nipples and under on my incision area. But my sister is gonna go buy me more gauze, I'm pretty sure. Showering. But let me make sure it's on there. And boom. And then I was specifically told not to clasp this last one because I think I just need a little room to breathe down there and it not be so tight. So one thing I want to mention, because I know a lot of people have questions about it, is like breast numbness. Um, when I took off my bandages, I can still feel my nipples. Like my nipples are still sensitive, even though like they took them for real to fuck off. My boobs the first and second day were kind of numb, but now they're not numb at all. Like when I scratch them, I can feel that I'm scratching them and I couldn't feel like that the first day or two. So it is currently day three of recovery, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if I should count the first day or not because I got my surgery on the 31st and now it's September 3rd and I haven't been feeling any pain. I stopped taking my hydros. I'm actually kind of finding it easier to lay on my side, but I'm still trying to sit up for the most part because that's what my doctor wants me to do. And my boobs are feeling super squishy now. Like. At first, I didn't even think they were that hard, but now that they softened up, they're feeling way more squishy. I can squeeze them and stuff. So that's my update for now. So today is day six, I think, of my recovery, and I noticed some bruising. Um, yeah, I'm not a bruiser, and I typically don't bruise, but I have these little yellow bruises. I'm pretty sure, how the fuck did I do that? I'm pretty sure they'll go away soon though. All right, so I just got out of my second post-op appointment. I do have another one next week on Thursday at one, but I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because all they did was look at it. They didn't give me any instructions. So that was basically my whole journey so far. I get my stitches out on week three and I might make another update video then.